money. What a waste of money. What a waste of money. What a waste of money. Waste of money. On Linda, how do you think it went? Waste of time. They've made up their mind, they're completely blinkered, they're not looking at the facts. Most of the politicians seem to be supporting them, especially Caroline Spellman. I'm glad she's not our MP. She made it very clear that she is here in her capacity as the local MP, uh, and that she's speaking in her capacity as the local MP. So I think it's fair. Well, I, I can't comment on that one. Uh, he said a lot of contradictory things. For instance, he said that the um, railway would be using existing transport corridors and pointed out that it was going straight through Greenbelt. Um, the transport corridors it's using are just in this area around, um, around the Water all station. Then, yeah. Exactly what I expected. Um, government platitudes, um, they, get, they are determined to drive this through, a few tweaks, and that is it. This will go ahead, a lot of the questions they can't answer, it's broad statements. Mm. Benefits will outweigh the costs, um, with no proof. And they yeah. say the proof is there, but we don't know where it is. And I, th <laughs> I think this is... They, they couldn't answer quite a few technical questions, what I expected. No, that's, uh, been the that's seven meetings that they haven't been able to do that. Uh, now it's 34 billion. 34? 34 billion. Well, it was 33 yesterday. <laughs> said, no, because I actually said to him, 34, and he said, yes, 34. Um, uh, of that, um, the, that includes the 66% write-up fee cost. So they've taken the cost that HS2 say it will take to build it, and they've added 66% for inflation. So what do you think? Um, as expected, um, uh, you know, he's, he's absolutely correct. He's made up his mind. Um, you know, that, uh, our arguments against the national case, he's just got a closed mind. We've just got to put as much political pressure on him as we possibly can. When we had this call, when we had public inquiries on that, on the tow road, we weren't such an important corridor. We had made these arguments for years. And we've had the same kind of uh, rationale to call it that. Oh, well, it would just be sort of coming to And we're now saying, certainly on my patch, locally, the spur, enough is enough. I've written to the judge. No, no, I've written to the judge. Laces and the a very, very simple way to say twenty odd billion pounds or thirty two billion pounds. Oh, sorry. They haven't replied yet. Somebody said the country just can't afford this. Um, he said all railways everywhere operate at a loss. Just a small thing to point out about these uh, demonstrations is one of the things that we've noticed is that. Uh, as you can hear, while the Secretary of State is in the meetings, uh, the car engines are both running. It's quite interesting. Uh, you know, what's all this, you know, reduce carbon impact, etc, etc, get rid of emissions, and there you go. I don't know if the uh, exhaust is picking oh yeah, the exhaust is picking up on that. Let's see. A V6 engine? Uh, no idea, yeah, V6 yes. engine. Yes. V6 engine, two of them, the blue one and the burgundy one, both running for you know, the entire length of the meetings in uh, in a lot of cases. Go on, Richard, how do you think it went then? Well, I think it about as well as uh, I expected. They didn't actually get to my question because I, I dwelt on national issues and, and I was told, oh, no, no, that's a national issue. You shouldn't be talking about that, you naughty man. So I never actually got to the point of asking whether local money would be put into the construction of the Bicken Hill Interchange Station. But I think the implication was, what was said about stations was that they were looking to bring private funding to build the stations. One third of the cost, I think the figure was, is, is allocated to stations. And they want to bring private money in. Well, I just cannot see how £500 million of development for Beacon Hill. Who is going to put that up? The, the airport have implied in discussions that they would make contributions 
uh, where they could see a business return on how much money they were putting in. But they're certainly not going to put in more than tens of millions, are they? They, they might well pay for the upgrading of the people who are this, this sort of thing. You wound my wife up. But beyond that, there is no return for them. Because they, they will still have uh, Birmingham International Station, will still be, bring their customers in, and that will be a cheaper service stopping at many, many more points. So uh, how many passengers will actually get off the high-speed train want to go to Birmingham Airport? Probably not very many at all. So why, why would Birmingham Airport put more than half a crown in, let alone 10 or 20 million? Did you, did you, know? you want to put your elephant over there because uh, the ATV man wants to get you. ATV, oh my God, how old are you? Team Walton, Team Walton. <laughs> Didn't mention anything along the lines of the subsidy that he expects it to uh, need to be paid. Well, he just said that op railways are all operated at a loss and that we, that has to be an accepted fact. Uh, so we're going to spend uh, 34 billion on it and it's going to operate on a loss exactly. and he's admitting that. Yeah. Okay, um, well, that's nice. It's good and, for him to uh, admit it. And, and all, they talk about compensation. And that is all, what, to my mind, what they seem to be interested in. Because they, they think that's the only thing that anyone here is interested in. Yeah. And it's wrong. We're not. But I am very disappointed. Okay. Okay. Oh, I made, made the point that M6 Toll and at High Speed One aren't making money. He said none of the railways are making money. If we use that, we'd never oh. build anything. Yeah. Go on. So, not particularly good. Not good. This was a key point we um, we made because on one of the first published plans, it shows the branch of the Y to the northeast, and it goes through Bodymore Heath, and it goes right through the middle of Kingsbury Water Park, which is a national RSPB reserve. Yeah? Um, and we said, you know, people are living along this line. We want to know is that because on the later plans they omitted it. Uh, and the guy said, oh, we haven't quite decided where this Y branch is going to go yet. It might go here, it might go Litchfield area. But it's really... Somebody asked a question about the costs, and it was £32 billion, pounds, of which two-thirds was funded by the government. We know that that, by the time it finishes, will be at least double. At least. So the country will not be able to afford it. And that's really well said. The whole of the... the, the, the all right. Well, Mr. Hammond, could you have a minute? All this money on the railway and not putting the money into our schools. What about all because the schools falling to, down in England? This is complete waste of money. It's a complete waste of money. And everybody is going to be paying for it throughout the land. Our schools need maintained. Mr. Hammond, that is a better question. Who decides on a preferred, who decides on a preferred route? HS1 doesn't do it. Oh dear, oh dear. He is in a no. bad mood. Oh, he is, isn't he? He wants to speak to Good luck at Litchfield. Didn't you give him your, his elephant? They must have oh. got to contain something. So I'm going to... <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. You I just hold it, hold it up, hold it up. You tried to give them this well, white elephant. And he yeah. turned it down. And he turned it down. <laughs> well, well he specialises uh, in I'm white going, elephant. I'm going to give it to Dan to give to, to oh, present. Right. Jolly good. But he refused to take this poor well, innocuous and, elephant. And perhaps he didn't really know what was going on, but... Uh, Shall we try and give it him in Litchfield later? If you like, are you going? Yeah. Or maybe I give it to Dan to give to him. Well, uh, are you ready to go on a journey? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it won't be very fast, I'm afraid. He's I've only got a Vauxhall. Well, I'm going on a tramp road. 400 Oh, God. Oh, no. Do you want any more chips? <laughs> We've heard enough about chips this morning, haven't we? Yeah. yeah. Can I come on the order? You, you, you sound far more fun. Yeah. <laughs>